Hi everyone, I'm Abby, Field Application Engineer of Newberton. Welcome to the M031 Level One training. Today, I'm going to introduce the sample code of PWM. First of all, you can download the M031 BSP from Open Newberton, which is the GitHub of Newberton, and unzip the file. Then you can find the Level One training folder under the sample code folder. All the level one training sample codes are under level one training folder. In this demo, we're going to show you two sample codes of PWM. The first one is single color breathing light. The path of breathing light sample code is under BSP, sample code, level one training, level one PWM LED breathing, Kyle, this folder. The project file, level 1 PWM LED breathing, is the sample code of PWM LED breathing light. For the implement of single color breathing light, we use PWM to control red LED light and dynamically change the duty of it. In the sample code, we use channel 1 of PWM module 1 to control the red LED light. In addition, the PWM setting is as below. By the setting, PWM output frequency would be 1 kHz. On the right-hand side, you can see that we can change the duty by setting the comparator value. We dynamically change the value of the comparator to simulate a breathing light. Before the demo of breathing light, we would like to show you the source code of it. We will go through the sample code while Kyle IDE to let you know better about it. Let's open the Kyle project file of PWM breathing light. First of all, in the main function, there are system initialization and PWM initialization. In the beginning of main.c file, we defined global variables and constant variables for PWM. They are PWM prescaler, PWM period, forward, and breathing count. Following, let's check out system init function for PWM related settings. In system init function, we'll enable PWM clock by CLK enable module clock function. Since we will set PLL clock as the clock source of PWM, we have to enable PLL clock first by CLK enable PLL function. Afterwards, set the clock source of PWM as PLL by the function CLK set module clock. In addition, we have to call system reset module function to reset PWM hardware circuit. It will make PWM start working in the cleanest condition. Finally, set multifunction pin to let the channel 1 of PWM module 1 to control the red LED light. In PWM init function, we first set the prescaler to 48 by PWM set prescaler function. Since the function will automatically add 1 for the prescaler internally, the parameter we use to call the function should do minus 1 first. Then we call PWM set CNR function to set PWM period as 1999. The initial value of PWM comparator is zero. The value of the comparator will be decreased or increased gradually every time when enters the interrupt handling function. We call PWM set align type function to set the PWM counter type as up counter. Also, we call PWM set output level function to output different level of each point. Here, we set the zero point to output low, the compare up point to output high, the period point to do nothing, and the compare down point to do nothing as well. Afterwards, to call PWM 
enable output function to enable the PWN output of channel 1. Besides, we call PWN enable period interrupt function to trigger an interrupt when the counter of channel 1 reaches to the period point. Remember to call NVIC enable IRQ function to set the handler function of the interrupt. In the end, call PWM start function to start PWM counter. Once the counter starts working, PWM signals will be output from channel 1. When an interrupt is triggered, it will be handled by PWM IRQ handler function. In PWM1 IRQ handler function, it will gradually change the duty of PWM, either decrease it or increase it to achieve the effect of breathing line. It has two conditions. If the parameter forward is 1 and the parameter breathing count is smaller than the global variable PWM period, it will increase the breathing count gradually. In the contrary, if the parameter forward is zero and the parameter breathing count is bigger than zero, it will decrease the breathing count gradually. Therefore, the breathing count will keep increasing and decreasing recursively. Then, we set breathing count as the comparator to dynamically change the duty of PWM. By this operation, we can make the effect of breathing light. Finally, remember to clear the flag raised by the period interrupt. The hardware we are going to use in this demo includes two boards. One is the evaluation board, NewMaker M032SE. The other is level one training board. The two boards could be connected together. We will connect the evaluation board with the computer when we are doing demo. Before connecting the evaluation board to the computer, we have to turn on the virtual COM port on the evaluation board to enable the UR transmission. The way to turn it on is to switch number 1 and number 2 of the virtual COM port to on. Afterwards, connecting the evaluation board and the computer via USB cable. If the connection is successful, you will see the virtual COM port status from the device manager of the computer. After connecting the evaluation board with the computer, we are going to show you how to do programming. In this demo, we'll use Kyle IDE, for example, to show how to build image and program. In Kyle, you may click the Rebuild button to compile the codes and generate image. If the compile is successful, you may click the Load button to program image into our microcontroller on the evaluation board. You may also refer to the video, The Best MCU Beginner Course, Lead Your Way to the Nivitant Development Platform for more detailed information, such as evaluation board introduction or steps of IDE download and programming. For PWM breathing light, besides the evaluation board, NewMaker M032SE, we'll also use level 1 training board for the demo. These two boards could be connected together. The position of RGB LED 1 light is on level 1 training board as the picture below. It will be used to show the LED red light in this demo. You could connect two boards together before programming. After the programming is done, connect the board to the computer. Turn on the terminal, set the UR COM port and baud ray, and connect. Then press the reset button on the evaluation board to restart. You will see the LED red light breathing. Another sample code of PWM is to control LED light by a fixed duty output. The path of LED lighting sample code is under BSP, sample code, level 1 training, level 1 PWM LED duty, Kyle, this folder. 
The project file level one PWM LED duty is the sample code of PWM LED lighting. In this sample code, we also use PWM to control the red LED light. It is simpler than the breathing light. The comparator value is fixed, which means the duty is fixed. Therefore, the red LED light will display the brightness by the duty constantly. Like the breathing light example, we'll also open the Kyle project file to introduce the source codes. In main function, we call system init function to initialize system and PWM. Afterwards, we use PWM config output channel function to set PWM related parameters. In this example, the channel we use is channel 1 of PWM module 1. The output frequency is 1 Hz and the duty is 50%. By this setting, the red LED light will be on for 0.5 second and off for 0.5 second, which means the LED light will display 50% of brightness. The hardware setting and image programming is the same with the breathing light example. After the programming is done, connect the board to the computer, turn on the terminal, set the UR COM port and baud rate and connect. Then press the reset button on the evaluation board to restart. You will see the LED red light display 50% of brightness. You may also change the duty to display different percentage of brightness. Above is the introduction and demo of level 1 training PWM sample code. Thanks for watching. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have questions. You may subscribe our channel for more information.